Fear mode is now available on the Spark and it does require the firmware updates on the Spark itself. And update the DJI GO 4 app to the following version. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the Sphere Mo and five tips I have discovered while I was playing around the Sphere Mo in the past two days. To use the Sphere Mo, first you tap here, then there, then the Sphere option can be found under the panel mode. Here's tip number one if you don't find the Sphere Mo even after the firmware update, the remedy to that is to reinstall the app completely. When it starts, the Spark will autonomously capture a series of 46 images and take roughly about a minute to finish. So tip number two is make sure you have enough battery juice when you do a sphere mode. After it finished, the sphere needs to be stitched in the post process under here. As you can see all the sphere icons. Click on one of them to start the stitching process. And here it leads to tip number three. The stitch process will take about five to 10 minutes. So don't try to stitch a sphere while the Spark is in the air. Now this is how the sphere will look like after it's finished. It feels like it's lacking something. It doesn't give me that little planet effect. I feel that it's important to have some kind of vertical structure in the frame and make sure the tip is higher than the horizon line. This way the structure can really extrude it out of the sphere and achieve the little planet effect. Another thing that I noticed is that the spark will lock onto the exposure of the first image that it takes. So it's important to start the sphere mode faces away from the sun or any light source. Or else the sphere will look very dark and it will have hard time stitching them together and the line won't be aligned correctly. Alright guys, I hope you have learned something new and make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so to see my latest upcoming video. Until then, have a sphere day.